yeah, they're either super deadly, they're like poison hemlock, or I forget what they're called. I think it's like poison hemlock or something. Or they're a type of flower that's, that's actually good for, for bees and stuff. It, it's hard to tell the difference between them. There's like a little bit different. One has like black dots in the middle, one's taller than what? Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, and guys, these are our trees. This is an avocado tree, can't put it outside, but I'm gonna keep it inside. Maybe we'll get fruit off it one day. These are pawpaw trees, we'll wait till spring to plant these. And here's our Chicago fig, which actually I want to replant up into a bigger pot. Because these can probably wait till spring, I think. These will be fine till springtime. Yeah, I think these will be... I think these are good until spring, or... These are big enough in spring, but this one needs to be planted up. This one I'm going to keep in here for probably spring also, and I'm going to put it in a bigger pot. Like a 50 gallon, or one of our grow bags, and put it outside in the summertime, and then bring it in the winter. But! Anyways, guys... Uh, in the wintertime, we probably need to grow like to actually get fruit on this, because I think they grow, yeah, I'm pretty sure avocado is like fruit in the wintertime, which is weird, but, anyways, guys, well, let's get this done, we're gonna take one off for a walk, it's actually kind of raining, but it should be fine. Anyway, guys, both of my parents are home, because they had to go get the car fixed, which is also another news, we got our car fixed finally, so woo! Anyways, guys, well, let's get this done, there, I will cut back in a few minutes, so woo! Hi, guys, I'm back, I just want to tell you guys, check out your like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell, real channel, I'll talk to you guys! Hi right, so, guys, mission acquired. We got the doggo. Right, doggo. Right, Dan. Right. Huh? Yeah. The other one was. Don't say the other dog Dan because he gets depressed. He misses him. Jake. Jake, come back this way. Come, come, Jake. He's on a one-track mind today. He's like, I'm going. I'm going. I ain't stopping. Don't say that. Well, People don't like that word. Well, you should know. I'm taping. By the way, you see these white flowers? Mm -hmm. there's, I don't know if I told you to, but they're either super deadly flowers that are you can eat them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're either super deadly. They're like poison hemlock or... I forget what they're called. I think it's like poison hemlock or something. Or... They're the type of flower that's, that's actually good for, for bees and stuff. It, it's hard to tell the difference between them. There's like a little bit different. One has like black dots in the middle. One's taller than... What? Because it's cool. And he has energy. He wants to go fight a tractor. Yeah, I was standing up in our yard on the hill where he took me. And then he jumped off the hill to try to bite a tractor. About killed me and him. He's nuts. He hates tractors. Will you stop saying that? Right, Jake. Me and you can walk forever, huh? Does he still have diarrhea? Because he had diarrhea the last couple of days. No, he's constipated. Did he even do anything? Yeah, it looks hurt. <laughs> now he's constipated. Yeah, well. You really get t Jake, you gotta come this way. Come over here for a minute. You guys are nutty. The nutty professor. I know, he's crazy. Anyway, guys, I'll come back once we get to the top of the... So, we'll have to talk about, about getting the chickens now and then growing them out and then getting... Any I don't think he really wants to get chickens. He feels bad for letting them all the chickens die. No, he feels bad because he thinks it's his fault. That we had all them chickens and we let them die to a fox like that. And he's all depressed about it. I feel bad because I was here. I'm beating myself up over it. Not being able to. Oh, I'm up all night worrying about it. Beating myself up. They're fine. Actually, they're probably not fine. But I know. I should stay. I was still see distance them screaming or crowing all day. I didn't even go and check on them. I was walking the dogs like this. I heard them up the road and I said, oh, that sounds like something bad. And I was walking. I was like, I was, I was like, look at the dog home. It was really hot. I want to talk to Dave. So mom, hold on to him. He's gonna see the dog. He's gonna see the cat. He's gonna want chase. He's gonna want to chase the cat. Mom, he's gonna want to chase the cat when he sees it. You better hold on to him tight. No, just go. Just walk into. He might not see it. He you knows he's gonna pull you. He you knows he's gonna pull you when he sees it. He wants the water more than anything. <laughs> now he sees it. Now has two cats. Just two cats. See, I told you they're best friends. Look at him. He wants water. He said, I'll fight the cat later. Now he wants to go fight the cat. The cat's like, what's this? <laughs> what the heck's going on? That's a monstrosity. 
Or is it that's the monstrosity dog? Look, <laughs> they're staring each other down. All right, cat, let's see you take this dog down. Like you, Jake. Come on, James. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's going to want to keep pulling you. He's not going He's not going to walk. He says, even with the other day, whenever he, or uh, Frisco was following us down the road, he lost it. Yeah, for now, until he sneezes it again. Man, these flaws are everywhere. I don't know. I don't think these are poisonous because I've never had any problem with them, but some people are even so poisonous you touch them, you can get hurt by them. So I don't know. What? Because I want to eat Aunt Mary. Aunt Mary. Yeah. You're an aunt now? I guess. Jake's, Jake's Lola Land. Huh? Nothing. All right, all right, guys. I'll come back in a few minutes when we get to the top of the hill. So, all right, guys. We made it to the top of the mountain. Now we're going down the mountain. Right? And then I'll throw the uh, chicken the bag. Jake, dogs, stop tangling each other up. You guys need to learn some manners about how to walk. Mm -hmm. I know. I know, but you can teach them to be better. Mm -hmm. Send Jake to obedience training. Mm -hmm. sure you know. Maybe when he was like a puppy. Come on, Jake. What are you doing? Hold on, now Jake has to eat grass. Jake, come on. Come on, Jake. Come on, you're leaving us. Come on, Jake. You're leaving us, Jake. Come on. You're leaving, Jake. Run. Make your little feet run faster. I told Jake to make his feet run faster. Not a deer trail. He smells a deer trail. See it? He smells them. He, he wants to fight deer, too. When he sees them, he wants to go after them. Really? Yeah. Deer, cats, and tractors. That's his thing. Mm. Jake is just everything. Right, Jake? He said, don't make fun of me. What kind of flowers are these? They look pretty. Mm. All these little purple flowers. Purple. Oh, oh, yeah, but I don't know. I know, but what kind? Mm -hmm. I bet you bees love those. Mm. I say, but there are no bees. Actually, there probably is, but it's just been raining all morning. So there are no bees. Huh? We usually go to this tree down here. Jake wants to go further, though. I know, I think he does. Probably both. Jake, we're not going down that road. No. No, we're not going down the road, Jake. Come on. Come on, Jake. Jake. <laughs> You guys having issues over here? I know. I don't know what they're doing. Come on, Dan. Alright, guys. Well, I'll come back a few probably when I get home. So, hi, guys. I'm back. My dad's here. Right, Dad? What is your problem? Do you like being on camera? You know it. No, I don't. Look at these little trees. Trees. I can't believe you split that in like four different things. That flower. I just noticed you split in like four of them. Yes, I mean, it was stuck together. Oh, they're, they're actually growing. Do you see that? Yeah, some of them are. I got one of my knuckles. We should plant that out somewhere and let it take over the whole place. Yeah, who? Why? If he stuff in the winter, man, he won't come back. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Will it not come back? Well, you can make a little bed for him out there. Just dig him up in the, in the fall. You could do that. It's a lot of work. I know. Have you done it before? No, I've seen people do it. <laughs> seen people do it? It would work. But why, though? Mm -hmm. It actually hasn't flowered in a while. You know that? That thing hasn't flowered in a while. I don't think it flowered this spring. Usually it flowers and... Yeah, probably didn't take care of it. Uh-huh. Too hot, too cold, not enough water, too much water. Yeah, I did. Look at your plants. I made them go crazy. Yeah. I did. I the Compost the tea. Yeah. I can't believe, I can't believe the garden out there. I looked at today. It's ridiculous. Freaking! Oh, it's not. Listen to me. The clover died, and then. Well, the tomatoes out there. It's, it's I, I can't find nothing. I know I can, but it's dangerous. What's dangerous? I've got hot peppers on there. What about my jalapenos? Or not jalapenos? My some uh, kind of peppers that they're growing on. Are they the red? Are. They get red. Mine get red. Chili oh, pepper. What the heck? Hungry. What? Did, what did I plant? I can't remember what I plant now. The, what, we might have peppers. What? Tabascos. Tabasco. There we go. Something. I'm gonna take them and ferment a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. I am. I can't believe that guy. It's. Ugh, the, I need to get there. At least cut down around the plants. I'm gonna get 
Effa Gabor thing and, and you can't scythe. use the fire on it. Yes, you can. You can scythe around you the plants. You ain't got enough room. Yes, there is. You want to hit the plant and cut down the plant and anything else. Take the hoe out there to it. You can't hoe it. It's too tall. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. What? You got buckwheat growing out there that's taller than me. <laughs> buckwheat? Yeah, sure. sure. Buckwheat. Buckwheat. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, you want me to show you? <laughs> I can't... Most of that stuff is, a uh, freaking one stuff. Uh, you know, uh, No, it's clover and that other stuff, uh... No, I can't remember what's called. That one thing, uh, it's... Get them berries on and it has people with cause allergies. You know what I'm talking about? We have it every year. They grow... Ragweed? Yeah. Whatever, yeah. No, not in the garden. It's gone the back there. What you got mixed up in the garden is clover. They turn down the... Well, I'll get the wool, we'll get the rototiller out and we'll cut it down with the weed eater and then we'll mm -hmm. rototill it in. Get it running. Ours won't run. I can't get it running. It'll run for like 30 seconds and then it dies. Yeah, I'll get it running. Yeah, I think it needs a spark plug or something. I don't know what it needs. Yeah, you might have for two or three years. I kept telling you we need to start it up new. We start it up one more. Run it. Really? I'm going to dig up a big plot in it. I'm going to dig up two poor plots out there. Big one and then a smaller one. I'm going to dig up a big long one for for uh, uh, spaghetti squash and pumpkins and stuff like that. And then I'm going to dig up another one for corn. We'll have a pot for corn and potatoes. And then we'll have a... This one right here could be for tomatoes. and take care of all this. Well, if I dig it up and I do it right, it's easy to take care of. Mm. It is. Okay, turn that off. Mm, you turn off. Come on, man. Mm. Hi, guys. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. So, hi, guys. I'm back. Doing a vlog. Didn't really go out today. Just walked the dogs up the road. My mom and dad are both home because they had to... Oh, I didn't tell you guys this. We got our, we got one car fixed. The other car's still in the shop or whatever you want to call it because it needs a transmission, which I don't know if it's even worth getting transfer for or not. We're debating it. Depends on how much you want to transfer and how much pain the buzz going to be to put on if it's worth it or not. But, uh, yeah, we got one car back now. That's at least better than none. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow. So, whoop, roll the outro. Hi, guys. I want to tell you guys, thank you for making this part of the video. If you made this part of the video, maybe you want to check out more. There's two videos here, or you can subscribe, or you can do all three, or you can click a video. It doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So, whoop, roll the outro. Or, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.